I don't know what it is. Do you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen get it when you get angry or annoyed with things? Do you seem to get clever with your thoughts? Some people would say yes, some people would say no. But what really makes you angry? What makes you really triggered to get angry? Some people don't like to get angry. I want to be calm and collective. Then when you be around your friends and your family and you try and give them positive attitude around them, it's not, a good, it's not enough for them. They always seem to think you're negative and angry. Why don't they take a look sometimes in the mirror and look at what their problems are, look in the mirror and see that they're the ones who's negative and angry with you. Not you're negative and angry with them. They like to turn it around and put the blame on somebody else because they can and they think it's funny. But the thing is, my bloody nose will stop itching. You know, they can't understand their own world and perhaps they try and talk to other people and ask other people, what do you think about my world? What kind of world am I in? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Some people say yes, some people say no, and some people would say you've lost me. But the thing is, people say all sorts of things to people to make them look cool and good in front of other people. The thing is, people haven't lost you. You just don't want to answer the question. That's the thing. You know, they, people try and put themselves out there for other people, but they don't want to do it for everybody else. So, and they try and twist things and change things. It's like uh, somebody that's called a narcissist or narcissism. That's thinking they're clever and uh, brighter than everybody else. And then they say because they've got bipolar or, or a mental disorder. They think they seem to be a lot more smarter than most people. There's a lot more clever people in the world that you think they're clever. But the thing is they don't seem to understand that. They want to put the hate and blame on you. Turn things around and turn your friends against you. That's what these sort of people do. But some people are too smart and too clever for that. You know, not everyone thinks their way and you don't think my way. Do you force people to think the same way as you? No, everyone's different. Why is everybody different? Because we're all built differently. We all look different. And we all think differently. And uh, when people try to have a conversation and try and speak to people about things, it seems to just take things the wrong way. Because they can't understand your thoughts or their own thoughts. All people want to do is just make friends out there and be happy and safe, have a good time. What's so hard about that? Why can't people be who they want to be? Why is there always somebody out there judging them for who they want to be? Just because they're different. They can't understand other people are different to them and they want people to be the same as they are. All about control, manipulation in the world, which they can't understand and they can't see just for their eyes. What can you do? There's not a great deal you can do. Do you live with the times that they live in? Do they live in your times? Do they want to distance yourselves from you? Or do you distance yourselves from them? You try and ring them and call them on the phone. Like, hello, uh, is anyone there? And, you know, they ignore you. You try and message the people that you want to talk to. Do the same. If someone wants to miss out on a great life and the great person that you are, fuck them. I know it's a square word, but uh, sorry about the language. They're missing out on a great person, guy or girl friend or family member, if they're living for the same thing, that's their problem and their life. If they want to be miserable and self-centred, let them be. You're living your life happy to the fullest, making friends, getting yourself in that world and getting out there. What are they doing? Just staying at home all day, watching TV, smoking and drinking. You know what I'm saying? And playing games. Then everybody does that. People do go out for walks and communicate, communicate with people, speak to people. Talk to people. Not just on Facebook or Instagram, which I don't use. You mean, you can find friends and people anywhere you want to go to. Sometimes it's difficult and hard. Sometimes people want to get to know you first before they make you a friend. But some people lack on them skills. And some people are too scared of their own shadow. They don't want to leave their own house. Or go out for a walk. That's how they'd never meet people. They'd just be, uh, be in their own company all the time. Some people don't mind that. But uh, wouldn't you rather be... In company with someone that you're making friends and trying to understand people and helping them out. But some people say they don't want to help other people help themselves. You know, to make yourself well and to help other, other people, you've got to make yourself well. Sometimes it's good to put yourself out of other people, but some people may disagree. The world can be a crazy place for a lot of us, but it's how we look at the world. You know, there's lots of things in the world. Some people say it's a small world. We only live on the world for a short moment of time in our lives. Not a long time we live on the earth. Because there's lots of things always happening. You know? There's always someone born every day. There's always somebody that dies every day. There's always somebody you don't know you're going to see the last minutes of. Then the next day they'll be 
Not back again. Some people want to warn other people on the other side of telling people that it's okay. Live your life, carry on. And we can see each other again one day. But some people don't do that. Some people would rather be on the other side than be on the earth. There's not a lot of hope in the world, is there? And people say there is. For the smart people and the clever people, there's hope. Because they can read and write. For the people that can't read and write, and they're not smart, they're on the streets. They struggle with money and food and bills. Nobody wants to help them. People always go try and go to the job centre to ask for help and they don't want to know. It's always the rich to get richer, the poorer get poorer. The people that know the people that are poor, they don't want to know. But once that money runs out for these rich people, they're in the same situation as you homeless people. Or some of them may have friends or family to help them. There's always something around the corner that a lot of us don't understand. Why can't people understand that I hope us or see us? They can't, can they? If you're not in with us, you're against us. If you're not against us, you're not in with us. Or if you don't want to know us, we don't want to know you. It's a fair enough game. But some people say it's a game, but it's not really a game though, is it? It's their rules. There's always rules that people got apply to, but not everybody applies to rules. That's why the world's the right mess as it is at the moment, because there's too much rules going around. If there was no rules, there'd be no law, there'd be no order. People would be smashing things, breaking things, robbing things, stealing things, killing people, stabbing people. That's why we've got rules and laws. Personal space as well, which some people don't give to other people. You see what I'm trying to say? And some people pretend that they can't understand what you're saying. It makes me laugh, even though they don't want to know. They don't want to be clever, they want to be stupid. That's why they drag these other people down. Because they know they're cleverer than them. And they can't have them making themselves look bigger than they are. Because why, can, why can't anyone else be cleverer than them? Why can't they make a name for themselves? Why can't they put their foot out that door and spread the word to people? People want to help other people. Some people don't want to help people. Some people want to upset people and drag them down. It's the way the world can be. Not fair, but uh, we all have to live in the same world, unfortunately. If you don't like someone, don't talk to them or text them or ring them. Just do your own thing. So all these ideas that I'm thinking about, as you can tell here, I know may sound a bit annoyed and angry, but I'm going to keep going on with the ideas and trying to understand it. As you can see, the fan is on there still, keeping the room cool. I know I've got a lot of PS4 games. Some people may have not a lot, as I have. Obviously, yes, I mean Schiffnell, Ifnell. And people keep thinking Schiffnell's Telford, which is not. So, i just got to keep thinking the way you've got to go in this world. But uh, like I say, I could probably say many more things in this video. I'll think of more stuff and link it in my head. So I'll say write it down. But anyway, better go. Thank you for all joining me. Take it easy. See you later. Peace. Tell me what you think about this video. Am I right or am I wrong? More people need to help people that don't want to. All right? Other countries may have it differently. Thank you for joining me. Peace.